Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see how to implement content negotiation in Spring Boot. But before that, let's see what is content negotiation. Content negotiation is a concept that allows the same URL to serve the same content in various formats because it is not always possible for the server to return data in the requested format. And that is why it is called the negotiation. Content negotiation is the process of selecting the best representation for a given response when there are multiple representations available. Content negotiation is performed at runtime to determine the media type format to be used based to return the response for an incoming request for the client side. So as per this description, I hope you understood the content negotiation. How does content negotiation work on the web? There are two ways to do content negotiation using accept by adding the accept as part of the headers. So here is the example using URL by appending the media type in the URL. So here is the example. In this video, we are going to cover the first approach using the accept by using URL we will cover in the next video. So let's implement. Here I'm going to continue the book rest API project. As you can see, I already imported the project in the Eclipse. Now let's run this project. The server started successfully and running on 8081 port. All the sample URLs I already added in the readme.md file. Let's open the REST client. I will show you how to test all these URLs. First, let's create the get request. See, it is working. Now let's create the post request. See, here is the sample data. Now let's click on the send. It is working. Now in case of get, two records are showing. So here you can see the output always is coming in the form of JSON. Now let's say I want the XML output. But as per the current implementation, it is not possible. But I want it. Then let's see how to do that. Don't worry. It is very simple. As I said earlier in this video, we are going to cover the first approach using the accept. So for that, there is a dependency available. So let's include that. The dependency name is Jackson Data Format XML. Let's search for that. See, here is the dependency. Let's copy this into the POM XML file. It starts downloading. Stop the server and start again. Server started. Let's try again the get and post URLs. See, now the response is coming in the XML format. This is what we wanted. But it is giving always the XML response. So let's add accept as part of the headers. And here for value, let's say application JSON. Now it is not showing anything. That means it is working only for the XML. Let's see how to get the response in JSON. Let's open the resource interface. Here you can see we added only get mapping. We are not passing any value for produces. So let's add produces also. Like here, we want response format should change according to the accept value. So if it is application JSON, then the output must be the JSON. And if it is application XML, then the output must be in the form of XML. Add produces for find all also. See, it is working. Let's add one more except for the XML. Using this checkbox, you can enable or disable the except. See, it is working. Let's add the same produces for save and update also. Server restarted. Let's try for the post request. See, it is working and returning the JSON response because in accept, we are accepting the JSON. See here, four records are showing, showing XML because in accept, we are accepting the XML. Now disable the XML and enable the JSON. Now it is returning the JSON. 
the only thing is here you can see in case of find all it is returning the collection and items are also not properly mapped so in the any front end either mobile tablet or web it is little difficult to parse in the next video we will see another approach to achieve the content negotiation i hope you understood whatever i was trying to explain this is the simplest way to implement content negotiation let's quickly review whatever we added I committed the changes. I will show you from where you can find these changes. Here is our GitHub page. Here is the project. Here are the changes. I hope you like this video. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.